Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we're going to be talking about this baby right here, the CQC10 by Emerson Knife. And in this case we have a 2008 model, but this knife was originally in production in 2003, okay, as an H&K collaboration with Emerson. And that version of 2003, you will notice an H and K sign right there in the blade with a smaller Emerson Knives uh, logo in it, okay? And let's talk about this knife. Let's go and compare it with the CQC7 right here. And right away, you will notice that even that the handle is, you know, it's comparable with the CQC7. Let me put this a little bit more in frame right there. That blade is way longer. You know, we're talking about a 3.6 inch blade. Okay, and then overall length is 8.5 inches. So I will say that's a very good size type of utilitarian knife if you're looking for something without a thumb stud. That this is one of those peculiar knives in Emerson that have a thumb hole in it instead of a thumb stud. Okay, and be aware, not a not a lot of Emerson comes with thumb stud. We have that CQC10, all the Karambit models, of course and uh, the snake and reliance and you know and, and some models that that are not that easy to find out there okay that's how it compares against the spider coat tenacious not that big you know that tenacious right so and how it compares with the buck 110 and the buck 110 is is right there with this one i will say in terms of handle very similar and then the blade of the Buck 110 is a little bit bigger, I will say, but not, not by much, okay? Let's look at this blade. Now, this blade basically is a drop point, but you know, it's a classic bull nose, right? Like we have with this bull nose karambi that I made a video on it. it has a beautiful bull, bull nose look right there, very utilitarian style of blade, I will say. Let's look at that blade. It has a V grind. This is an older model, like I said, 2008, but newer models after 2012 or so, you will notice that they will have a switch included on the blade, okay? So this one has no switch. Again, older, has a V grind. And by V grind, we mean it's grind on that side and this side as well. And then you have that chisel edge on that blade. And you know, very utilitarian. You can see a good point, good strength right there from that stock. And very utilitarian style of blade, I will say, okay, regarding this one. Then you have your wave with your thumb hole to open that blade. And you can access that thumb hole both ways, right hand or left hand, no problem, okay? And your classic Emerson uh, finger guard with that jimping that is not too aggressive above that wave that allow you to have that perfect, you know, points of reference when you're uh, holding front grip the knife, right? At least in my case, that's one of those things I love about Emerson's, right? It tells me where I'm at and, you know, it's perfect for me. So great, great ergonomics. The handle you can tell, and I mentioned this in another video, that the Apache has similar, similar handle lines like the CQC10. The Apache is a longer handle, but you can see how that handle have a little bit of that inspiration from the CQC10. Uh, of course, I'm really enjoying this, the Apache. Um, I love the handle of the Apache. And in the CQC10, it's a little bit smaller, but I don't have any issues with it. You see how that palm just melts right there. You know, finger guard in position, no problem. You know, if we go reverse side, same thing. You know, it's, it's a very ergonomic, very nice knife. Again, I will consider this it's an Emerson, you know, it's, it's, it will do what it needs to be done, but I will consider this blade shape a very, very utilitarian, very friendly style of blade for, you know, 
for utility tasks, no problem with it. Again, the construction is the older version, so a little bit thinner grip on that G10, and you have that backspace, and then your classic Benchmade clip, okay? So very basic Emerson construction that we all love. Let me show you how it will ride on the pockets, because I think this is one of those that people will definitely will be carrying a lot if you are an owner of one so that's how it carries i think that's perfect i like to have enough purchase on an emerson to be able to grab it in case of an emergency right and wave it if needed or not and let's see how it rides with a deep carry pocket right let me just line it up right there so we can see uh somewhere there and you can see it's going to be riding somewhere like that. So it will be pretty good as well in a deep pocket carry clip, okay? And yeah, guys, this is the CQC 10, okay? If you're looking for a non thumb stud from Emerson, this is one of those models that you can look at, okay? Again, very utilitarian, very EDC friendly. And if you have any other question, hey, feel free to contact me through Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook group or USN forums, okay? We're always there talking blades and having a great time. You guys stay safe, okay? Bye.